hoping to fail. You, you didn't get married only to hope that your marriage fails. You didn't have children hoping to fail as a parent or even to feel like you're a failure. I don't believe that you started school or you're taking that class because you wanted to bomb each test. No, I, I, I truly don't believe that that is our goal in life. Our goal is to succeed and to want to feel like that we're winning, that we're making it, that we're not a failure. In those weeks that you feel like that you are a failure, because I've been there. You know, this last week I had a day where ultimately I felt like I was failing at everything. I looked at my house and saw how dirty it was. I looked at my husband and saw my insecurities. I looked at my children and saw where at times that I'm not the best mom. And it seemed like my focus was on every area that I just wasn't making it. One time in high school, I was running cross country and I, I didn't really enjoy cross country. I just did it to hang out. I, I don't know, it makes no sense. So I had a, a cross country meet that I had no desire to run, but I had to do it. So I, I seriously have maybe half a mile left in the race and I just decide to stop. But not only do I stop, I pretend like I pass out. This is a true story. It's totally embarrassing. I just fall over. I think, you know, maybe if I just fall over, someone will think I've passed out and I won't have to finish the race. So here I am laying on the side of the track. No one's coming. People are passing me by. Could care less. What do I do? I ultimately get up and finish the race like I should have done in the first place. So this last week, I'm having just a tough day and I really felt the Lord say to my heart and, and just in my spirit, he said, go take a hot shower, pray in the Holy Ghost, put your big girl panties on and face the day. You say, oh man, that's harsh. How can you say that? You know, I truly believe that Ultimately, we've got to just face life head on. And how do we do that? How do we face life head on whenever we feel like a failure, whenever we feel like we're not adding up or measuring up? In 1 John chapter 4, verse 4, it says, You have already overcome them. It even says, My children. In the Amplified, it says that your believers, his dear ones, it's those that, that you have accepted Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. You have already overcome them. Who? The agents of the Antichrist. How have you overcome them? Because greater is he who is living in you than he that is in the world. You have the greater one on the inside of you. So in those moments that you feel like a failure, where you feel like you're not measuring up, this is the first place to begin, to recognize that God is greater than all of these attacks of the enemy because that's what that is. That is an attack of Satan to try to devalue who you are in Christ Jesus. But praise God that we have the greater one living on the inside of us. God is greater than my insecurities and in that greatness I can find myself in him and if there are things I need to work on because you better believe there are praise God that I have the greater one to help me and that he gave me the Holy Spirit to be the best guide to lead me into the truth of the Father and to reveal the works and the word of Jesus into my heart I'm so thankful that I have a God that loves me so much that he is greater than anything else in this life God is faithful. He loves you. You're not a failure. You're going to make it. You're going to get through whatever it is you're going through. And praise God. As a child of God, we are overcomers in Christ Jesus. All right. I love you all. And it's going to be a blessed week. I hope to see you soon. Bye.